Welcome to Vanish. Before you hit the road, this five minute video will guide you through the van's important features. Driving is a breeze, but it's probably a longer vehicle than you're used to. So remember to give yourself extra room on turns. Take them nice and wide, making sure your back tires clear any objects on the road. Accidents most often happen in gas stations and parking lots. So be especially careful in confined spaces like these. The van is nine and a half feet tall, so steer clear of any bridges under 10 feet. If you need it, a roadside assistance number is located in the glove box. Feel free to pass through tolls that are easy pass equipped, and we will bill you after your trip with no extra fees. The van takes regular unleaded gas and is filled up right next to the driver door. This monitor shows your battery percentage for the cabin's power system. The battery is recharged in three ways. Solar panels on the roof, having the engine running, or plugging in at a campground. If the battery gets below 20%, the easiest way to recharge is simply to start the car. Your cabin battery is separate from the car battery, so even if the cabin battery goes to zero, you'll still be able to drive. In the kitchen, you'll find a flip-up counter, stove, and sink. For the stove to work, a potter pan needs to be on the surface, otherwise heat won't come on. To access filtered water from the sink, first turn on the water pump. For hot water, turn on the hot water switch at least 30 minutes prior to use. This activates the water heater for the sink, indoor shower, and outdoor shower. Water drains to a tank below the van. You can monitor the level of the gray tank on the meter under the sink. When it's full, pull the release handle to drain. There are also magnetic window covers above the cab, along with window shades for the front windows. On the ceiling fans, you can control the speed by pressing the plus or minus buttons and change the direction of airflow by pressing the in or out button. Always make sure to turn off the fans before driving as an open cover can be damaged at high speeds. To keep the van cozy warm when the temperature drops, activate heat by turning the knob in the back corner. The heater runs off gas from the van's fuel tank, and if it detects that the tank is running low, it'll automatically shut off, so it's okay to leave the heat on all night. If temperatures are below freezing, please keep the heater on to ensure the pipes don't freeze. Inside the bathroom is a nature's head composting toilet which works by separating your ones and your twos. For your ones, sit down and urine will automatically divert into the front liquid container. When you're done, give the bowl a few sprays of the water vinegar bottle provided. This will help to flush any residue and keep the van smelling fresh. The back of the toilet is the number two container, which is stocked with fresh peat moss prior to your pickup. Just open the trap door using the handle on the side. It's okay to put toilet paper in here too. When you're done, close the door and rotate the spider handle on the side a few times. This gets the composting process going and helps to eliminate odors. You shouldn't have to empty the number two container for trips less than three weeks, but please consult the user manual if you do. You probably will have to empty the number one container, which can fill up every day or two. It's a transparent container, so make sure to empty before you see liquid approaching the top. To empty, release the two latches on the side, tip up the bowl, and pull the container out. You can use the cap provided for transport. Dump the liquid in a toilet, porta potty, or campground dump station. When taking a shower, the toilet can be removed from the bathroom. Just disconnect the power and exhaust hose from the wall. Now we have the lagoon table. This works by three joints on the underside of the table, which allow you to either disconnect it or swivel it back and forth. Just rotate the handle on the side and lift up to disconnect the top of the table. You can also swivel your seats back using a handle on the side. The garage of the van has a ton of storage space for all your stuff. It also contains the water hose to fill up the water tank. To refill the water tank, Attach the hose to a spigot and refill until the tank is full. Only refill from drinkable water sources. In the garage, you can also find the power cord. The power cord is used for recharging at a campground. Just plug in and the battery will begin recharging. 
We do hope you have an incredible time on your journey. If any questions come up, don't hesitate to contact our support team. Also, make sure to take advantage of Vanish's website, where there are campsite recommendations, places to see, and lots of great resources. Thanks for listening.